the most fun bot award for this tournament again. And Kyle, I'm, I bet you have an idea of who it is. Uh, it is Chubby Unicode and Tim Hebert. Three, two, one. Fight, robots fight. And we are off. Oh, really showing the side there to Ghastly. <laughs> and you can see he's got to go right and left. And when he stands at the center, he's kind of neutral, but he could go <laughs> forward by then stepping wow. on that front pad. I will say it's pretty dialed in, you know. A lot of these robots, sometimes you hit straight, they don't go straight. He's he's going straight, pretty, you know? Yeah, that's pretty effective, all things considered. And, and he's getting his turns in, and he's facing his opponent pretty regularly, like more, more than I was expecting. Yeah. Well, honestly, being able to just hit straight could be a huge advantage for a robot like this. Impressive driving from the DDR pad. And Gasly is on their back foot, I think, in this fight. <laughs> Unable really to, to keep up. Chubby Unicorn just backing into Gasly now. <laughs> what a shot here with the DDR in the background. <laughs> Chubby Unicode is not letting up, and if Gasly was playing nice because of the controller, I think they're going to have to turn it up a notch here halfway through this fight. I agree a thousand percent. Gasly is uh, is it behind in a weird way in these points. Not, not what I was expecting. Ah, nice they shot are there, just getting Chubby tossed. Unicode. Great durability by both robots here, just taking these hits and then they keep going. Gasly now kind of stuck on their back four. You know, you could say that combat robotics is not an athletic sport, but this could really change that perception. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's all about reaction time. That's part of athletics, but yeah, this is a much more full body workout. <laughs> <laughs> and it leaves Tim's hands yeah. to celebrate, which I really appreciate. <laughs> yeah, it could be much more reactive. Ghastly uh, getting a full body workout for their robot in the arena, just going flying over and over on every one of the hits. <laughs> <laughs> they are just unable to deliver anything solidly to Chubby Unicode. Uh-oh. <laughs> nice shot there. <laughs> Beautiful rush. Launching Ghastly up in the air. Yeah. This is funny. It is interesting. It almost looks like uh, when he turns, it both backs up and turns. It doesn't look like it's just straight spinning in place. That could just be the gyro doing it, but I do wonder if they they have the turns program to back up and turn in place. Uh oh! <laughs> oh, he gets off the wall. Wow! With three seconds, uh, well, no seconds left now. What an amazing performance! As a former drummer, I have so many questions right now. I want to know if it's like a drum roll to get it full speed charged across the cage, if it's like a drum fill that makes the weapon work. Like, I just, my mind is going a thousand miles an hour right now. None of this feels appropriate to me. <laughs> That's what I know. I am on the edge of my seat and glued to our monitor right now for this. He's counting us down to the fight, ladies and gentlemen. Robots fight. I love this. Big hit there by Anomaly. Chubby Unico, though. Looks like he is doing yeah, some drum fills there to drive the bot. And it does. It spins the bot to the left or to the right. And then he's able to hit the two in the middle to kind of tank drive going forward. Wow. Yeah, that's... <laughs> <laughs> and a big hit by Chubby Unicode. I and feel another. very unsettled by how good this works. How <laughs> that's he just lined up the shot with the drums. Wow. And look, he's creeping over. He's getting into position now. Anomaly is stuck on its back plate. It is trying to vibrate itself loose. But it looks like he's rushing in for a hit. 
And he does a drum roll to charge at the bot. Viewers at home, like this, you are witnessing something special right now in the cage. Uh, both Kyle and I are having trouble finding the words to describe what we're seeing in action. Anomaly is stuck in the corner on top of its weapon. Very difficult place to get out of, so they have called for an unstick. Tim has been kind enough to give him the space to do that, and now he's coming right back in for the and attack. Weapon to weapon impact, baby. Big hits from Chubby Unicode. Wow. Chubby Unicode is, is, is delivering some punishment. Now let's give a little bit of credit here to Anomaly, a new bot, Ryan D'Angeletti. Uh, it's from Atlanta, Georgia, first event, already got a win under its belt, doing really well, but like... Wow. Yeah, they've been having a hard time here going up against this... Uh, <laughs> vertical spinner controlled by a toy drum kit. Chubby Unicode was able to self right, but now it looks like... Okay, and there's movement again. I was concerned that they didn't have any movement. No, he's just lining up the shot. He thinks they're going to get counted out on their back plate. He's just leaving it because they, they're out on sticks. They could get counted out right now. If they can't vibrate themselves loose. So that's a knockout. Wow. That's the second win of the day and the second method of control of the day. And now he is out there with the guitar spitting licks, throwing down fire, and hopefully uh, Four, driving the bot. Three, All right, Tim, two, let's see a full perfect five, on this fight. Fight, robots fight. What's weird is that the control of the bot has gotten better with each iteration of, uh, of control method. Let's see if that continues now that we're straight up in the bracket. <laughs> I think it's weird that he's winning. He's won with these weird controllers. Twice. Yeah. He's won twice. Not forfeits, not buys, not flukes. He's straight up dominated those matchups. He's up against Yidus now. Yidus hits like a ton of bricks, so this is going to be a tall order, but he's driving. And you can see the concentration on Tim's face as he gently plays that guitar to steer his bot. And he doesn't even see the fight anymore. He just sees green, orange coming down the line. <laughs> I, I am flabbergasted that this is a competitive matchup right now. And it's a competitive <laughs> this is a matchup fight. <laughs> where somebody is using a traditional transmitter, controller, same kind of thing you would see for flying a drone or operating an RC car. And the other guy, he's just, you know. Jamming out. Jamming out on a button guitar. Uh, I wonder if that whammy bar would get him to self right. That would be sick. So yeah, Chubby is uh, upside down. And it looks like the wedge has been distorted in such a way I'm not sure they'd be able to drive if they were right side up. And now we've got pieces of wheel coming off. Yeah, those weapon uprights are shredded on Chevy Unicode. I do not think that weapon's going to be spinning anymore. Yeah, this is not ideal. This is not where Tim wants to be at this point in the competition. But i got to say, I don't think Tim expected to be this far into the competition. So maybe it's all a win at this point? Definitely. He's shredding, he's trying to get unstuck. Now 20 seconds left in this fight. I think Tim should probably start playing the stairway to heaven. Stairway, deny. So yeah, I'll go ahead and say it. Chubby Unicode wins its first two matches, goes the distance in their 
what's well, probably their last match, let's be honest. Yeah. All right. And he looks Power cool kick. doing it. I think when you're using a guitar to fight robots, it's all about the power chords. And there you go. Uh, they clearly won this award. They've, they've brought a whole new element to the sport. And I see so much potential with their new controller schemes from the DDR pad to the rock band guitar to the drums. And, and there's just so many more options out there. Uh, I'm excited to see where it goes. So big ups to Chubby Unicode and Team he Tim Hebert. Uh, and big thank you to Repeat Robotics for sponsoring this award. Did you have a favorite control configuration for Chubby Unicode at this event? Uh, the, the DDR one. It, yeah, it, it was the fact that it was so successful was shocking. Yeah, yeah, because that was the most big, big surprise, and then, then you expected it when he was on the drums. Right, the fact that he actually had to drum out the movements with the drums was like, he wasn't just holding down the button, right, which is kind of what you would expect. No, he had to like full on do like the, the rhythm, the beat. It was impressive. Tim is a strange and brilliant man, and I hope he continues to come to this tournament and bring us with his uh, delightful and joyful innovations at every single event.